The dust generated by the dust-concluded elections in Nigeria is yet to settle, despite proactive measures to mitigate challenges arising from the outcome. The activities range from calls for interim national government by subversive elements to inciting statements by political actors in the face of growing poverty. These actions have resulted in the deepening of ethnic and religious fault lines and are painting the picture of a country working on Parajai roofs. Apart from the internal agitation that we have started perceiving and we're seeing in the country, we have also started perceiving some dangers coming from outside the country, where some enemies of Nigeria are also trying to take advantage of the situations and try to see how they can instigate and also incite uh, some of, especially the young people. Election was conducted under the Independent Electoral Commission and empowered by the 1999 Constitution. The Constitution gives the power to independent electoral commission to conduct elections from state level to local government level to the federal level, which they have done, and the winner has been declared. While well-meaning Nigerians struggle to douse a dangerous ethnic and religious tension, subversive elements are allegedly working in cahoots with foreign interests to undermine the unity and cohesion in the country. What they need to do is for them to rally run who has been declared as winner of the 2023 general election and to think about to rebuild Nigeria. What we need in Nigeria is peace. What we need in Nigeria is unity. What we need in Nigeria is progress. As a nation, we need national reconciliation and nation building uh, to give hope to the next generation, which is the youth. Because you cannot prepare the future for the youth. You can only prepare the youth for the future. Those people that are calling for the stabilization of the country, trying to see how they can create a lot of cures in the country, they have gotten other places where they can live, where they can settle with their own family. But those young people that are going with them and also borrowing leave from their own sentiment, they do not have any way to go. Litigations arising from the conduct of this year's cycle of elections will soon commence at the election tribunals. Nigerians are warning desperate politicians to have a rethink and desist from inflaming the country due to myopic interests and inordinate ambitions. Shapiro Suleiman, Trust TV News, Abuja.